Yeah, it's been it's been very weird because I like being busy and I'm very lucky that I've been busy for coming up to 30 years now in this career. And I went to Cheltenham for two days. I was sitting in my chair on Thursday night, my phone buzzed and it said, obviously, Mikel Arteta's been tested positive and that was it. I basically didn't work for two and a half months. There were people clearly fighting for their lives, people whose businesses and enterprises were and still are in massive trouble. So I think that put it into perspective very quickly that you've just got to, to sit tight and, and, and ride it out as best you can. And then it became clear that they wanted to get the football going again. But it's very weird to be, I mean, my wife said to me, I've seen you every day for 60 days. Quite often I don't see you for six weeks. This is bizarre. <laughs> but anyway, at least we agreed that probably we'd be all right in retirement because, you know, we, we have quite a lot of common interests. Yeah. So, I mean, being a reporter in, in lockdown, I mean, if you can't go out and do that, I mean, does that mean a lot of domestic stuff or does that mean you can do a lot more research? I mean, what do you do? I think I think I've played classic lockdown bingo. I've grown a beard for the first time. I've learned to bake bread. I've been taught to play poker badly. Um, I've been gardening. I mean, as I say, I think it's absolutely classic. It sounds like a, a male midlife crisis, really, doesn't it? Just throwing a motorbike and it probably would be. But it's been nice in that in that respect to do to think about something different because I couldn't really think about work because there was literally nothing to do. I was doing a little bit for PLP, literally sitting where I am now. We were doing little programs, half hour programs, a couple of times a week, you know, classic matches. We had Ian Wright and Emil Heskey talking about the famous Burkham hat trick match at Filbert Street. So I was doing a little bit like that. But on, on the whole, there wasn't really anything I could do. So what's the buzz around the media camp, camp at the moment? Are people kind of just so, so desperate to get back to doing what they do? I think people are as fascinated to know um, how it's going to play out in terms of home advantage because we look at the Bundesliga results. I mean, I was at a, P a Premier League meeting this morning. Um, who's going who's gonna to play the canned music? You can play canned music if you want. You can even play songs dedicated to a particular player. How's that going to look? What players are going to respond to the lack of atmosphere and who won't? Uh, when I was at PLP last week, I was with Ian Wright, obviously you love, Tim Sherwood, and Glenn Hoddle came on. Glenn Hoddle made a brilliant point. and Because I asked him this question, I said, Glenn, we've all heard about players who are brilliant in training but can't hack it on a Saturday afternoon. They can't take the match day uh, environment. Maybe they're going to flourish because they're not going to be given a hard time by anybody. He said, it's really interesting how many players it comes from within. What, what drives them is their own professional standards and their professional pride. And he said he did have some experience of this, and there's obviously a link with Arsenal here, but when he played for Wenger in Monaco, sometimes they only have four or 5,000 people in the winter. Mm -hmm. so there's no way, you, you, a lot of you would have gone to the, uh, I did the, the Monaco game three, four years ago. You know, in the Champions League, you know how small the ground is. So uh, in that situation, there was no way that he and Mark Hayden, who was playing with at Monaco, were going to get swept along by the crowd. So I'm really fascinated to see how all these particular things are going to play out. The five subs as well. You may know you cannot make five individual substitutions. Can you imagine if, if Arteta makes five individual ones and Guardiola makes five individual ones, we'll be here till the start of next season. So you can only make them in three goes, okay? So I'm really fascinated how that's going to play out. They're playing very quickly. How, you know, sports scientists, the red zone, player going to say, I can't play? I mean, Arsenal got three away. Arsenal's first four games are all away, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Does that matter? How's that going to play out? Things like that. I'm as fascinated as much by anything else, to be honest. I think the media are. 